Hello everybody, welcome back to my channel. So today I have a Sephora haul for you guys. Okay, I don't know why they give me such a big box, honestly. So it's gonna look a little bit weird, but um yeah, I don't know why they give me such a big box because honestly, oh honestly right, um I don't have that much things, but they give me such a big box. And I think because of them giving me such a big box, right, the packaging is horrible because firstly um the tissue paper inside didn't manage to fit up the entire box. Um so a lot of my products are you know, um, toppled all over and whatnot, and the box came squashed. So, um, I think there's definitely room for improvement because all of us know that makeup products are fragile, like eyeshadows, lipstick bullets. Sometimes, you know, if you shake it too vigorously, some may just you know get detached from the lipstick case. Um, and then, like, if you have glass bottle from skincare and whatsoever, it might break. So, all these things are things that I think um, should be taken into consideration. And I do know that it's the circuit breaker period, everybody is trying to get the things done. But I think, mm, even though we're dead, uh, you cannot use that as an excuse and be unprofessional. So, that's just my thing about it. And also, the whole shopping experience just wasn't fun. Um, a lot of anxiety, a lot of like, oh no, is my things gonna be out of stock, and whatsoever. So, this Sephora haul wasn't the best, okay? And a lot of the products that I wish, 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 wish to get, um, I wasn't able to get it because by the time I check out, because there's a lot of like crashing and website crashing and whatnot, payment failing and whatsoever, a lot of the things um, are out of stock. So, what I have here um, are not like relatively super new, they are more like, wait, there's a fuss in my mouth. But um, basically, these are products that um, has been there for a while. People have raved about them, but um, I only managed to pick them up now. <laughs> okay, um, and not only that, um, because the newer stuff are out of stock. So, um, oh yeah. Anyway, if you guys are wondering, right, what um, makeup base I'm using, I'm using the Roman Cushion Foundation. Um, I will do a review once I've got the newer one. So I'll do like a. Like, I think what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna do like half half. But I'll see the color match before I do that. But uh, if you guys are interested, then you can stay tuned for more videos. Um, and um, yeah, and the lipstick I'm using is from L'Oreal. I'll leave relevant things below if I can. So without further ado, let's get started. Okay, so I did get a lot of stuff, like I said. Okay, so the first thing that I got is this. This is the SK2 Genoptics Aura Essence. I got a small one, which is 30 mils. They have two versions, 30 and 50. I got a smaller version because SK2. Honestly, if you guys have followed me for quite a while, you guys will know that initially I really really hated SK2 treatment essence because it gave me small little bumps. But now I love it and I think that that is attributed to me aging. Okay, but um, now I'm gonna age gracefully. So um, I've been loving the SK2 facial treatment essence actually now. Yeah. So I decided to try this because this has been on my list but I put off buying it because of my encounter with the first treatment essence. But now that I kind of love it and I'm using regularly, I think I should try this. But then again, um, sometimes my friends and I were discussing about skincare and stuff, right? She told me that sometimes SK2 products you have to try. Like you have to go to the counter and maybe get like a small little sample or like a uh, sachet to try and see if it has any adverse effects um, on the... Let me silence my phone. Okay, um, and see if it gives you any adverse reactions or something like that because um, she really liked to use the Airy Lotion or something like that but there's one version, I think it's this one or another one, she cannot use so um, it gives her like red spots and whatsoever so that being said, um, I didn't want to go to the counter and I can't go to the counter anyway so I decided to just jump right in and get this during the Sephora 20% sale so yeah, okay, um, and then if you unpack that, it looks like this so it's a small one, so um, a lot of Chinese bloggers um, they always call this as the Xiao Teng Pao yeah, but it does look like that, so it's pretty cool Pretty nice, I like the whole packaging thing. Yeah, oh yeah. And also, the reason why I was very angry um, with and annoyed with the packing is because when I received my package, right, these things open up like this. So, um, it's very scary because SK2 is not cheap, you know? You know how much does this cost? This costs $199, so this is $200 for 30 mils. And this is like glass, I mean like it's made of a very thick glass, but the thing is, if it's under, if it did undergo like, um, like trauma, then this is going to break definitely, you know? So it's like... Yeah, but um, if you guys are curious, I can show you guys a picture I did took. I will just insert it down here below and see for yourself what kind of state did my products ar arrive in. But yeah, this is the first product. Next, I got Sephora cotton pads. Usually I use the one from Muji because I think Muji one is really value for money. It's soft, um, it's 180 pieces, um, it's only like 390 or 380 or 490, I can't really remember. But um, the thing is, um, I'm running out of it and before the CP period starts, which is the circuit breaker starts in Singapore, I tried to go to Muji stores but there are always, always a lot of, like there's always crowd there, so there's always like a long queue 
or you have a queue maybe like 45 minutes to an hour to get into the stores just to get cotton pads so I didn't manage to get that and um, after this one month and then the extended circuit breaker period I am running low on my um, cotton pad so I decided to try this they did revamp this one because initially back in the days when I first tried it um, it comes it's like this is cotton pads but in a circular shape so then it's like longer um, that one is slightly cheaper I think that was like maybe three or four dollars for slightly more but I think they wanted to go for like a cleaner or like a healthier brand so they bought this one back I brought this in instead um, this one is organic cotton pads so that's why it's pricier and it's slightly bigger than regular cotton pads if you're wondering okay so um yeah they have 50 pads only but I thought like you know since I don't want to go to Watson's to get the cotton pads because those are really quite rough honestly if you use that to clean your fingernails like nail polishes and it's okay but if you're really using it then you might want to be very gentle with it so for me sometimes I'm really kind of rough with my skin so I try not to use that so I decided to just get this while it has discount right so that is that and then next up I got this one this is the Dior Pore Pore Dior Forever Perfect Cushion. I got it in the color 2N. Um, the reason why I love it is the first time I tried it in stores, I was blown away. I really like how it feels um, and how it looks. It looks like it did minimize a lot of the fine lines on my hands. And um, it reminds me a lot of the Pat McGrath uh, Liquid Foundation, which I also tried in stores. So both of them really look very, really similar. But then again, that time I was trying to go very clean. I tried not to have any alcohol products in my skincare if I know then you know I will try to avoid but then now that I think of it sometimes alcohol might not be bad for the skin because I'm oily skin right and alcohol is supposed to kind of like just get rid of the oil and stuff like that but yeah that being aside okay I tried this one as well and um, I really like it but I don't really appreciate this leather cushion because I feel like it's going to get dirty very very easy because majority of the time if you guys see base product you really have a lot of foundation marks and everything and even with this kind of rough like plastic surface right you still get very very dirty but it's a good thing about them is that they are easy to clean just use a wet cloth or wet wipes and you can just clean them but this one how you're supposed to clean it like if it gets into this kind of treading it's not going to get clean so i was really put off by this one and then after that they came up with the diorama i think or diorama the one that has their prints on um, i'll put a photo if i can um the limited edition and i really really like it but that again it's also made out of fabric and i think it's going to be very dirty and that one is made out of white like a mixture of white and black fabric so i was thinking that like, oh my goodness it's like just fingerprint magnet and stuff like that so I didn't purchase that of course and then um, after that in February um, the more I think about it the more I like it and I tried to kind of find it and it was sold out totally in um, Singapore and then um, I tried to find ways to get it but I couldn't so yeah but then um, since they have a sale then I thought why not try this for 20% off with the regular packaging. So yeah that is there. Uh, it's pretty pricey actually honestly I feel like and the puff doesn't seem very luxurious either. But um, I like the makeup. And then also the Lipstick King from China, the Austin Lee. He did love this one a lot. He gave great reviews of this one. The way he described it is that after you kind of pat it onto your skin and you spray water on it, it forms, like, it repels water. It has like little water droplets out on top. So it's like more like sweat resistant kind of thing. So um, for me, this kind of oily skin, I think I would appreciate this a lot. So I purchased this one. The next one is a really big one. This is the Drunk Elephant Bear Reverse, the Love Kit. So this one doesn't have the, it's not the same as the mini kits or the little kit because those are really really like small size. This one is more like um, travel size I would say, like it's slightly bigger. Okay, so I thought it would be a good time to try it. So it comes like this, oops, what is that? Okay, so yeah, it comes like this, right? They are slightly bigger, they are all 50 mils instead of um, I think 5 mils or 3 mils, I think it's 5 mils. So they are slightly bigger. So what is inside is you have the Lala Retro Big Cream. Um, Honestly, I bought this one not because of this Lala Weep and it's not because of the Jelly Cleanser. I bought this solely because of the C from Day Serum, uh, the TLC Framboise Glycolic Night Serum as well as the, the new F-Bomb Electrolyte Water Facial Mask. So because they are like 50 mils for these three items, I thought I should try. Because I've tried the Jelly Cleanser, um, oh my goodness, this one, before. They give me like a small sample size. I don't like it. I don't like the smell. I think it smells horrifying. Um, so I don't like it, but um, I mean, not that I had it, I'm to try it and try to finish using it. And then I've tried the Protini and I really love it. So, um, well, I know that Lala Retro is more for like dry skin. Um, but the thing is, well, since it's in the set, then I'm going to try and use it. So this one is like the slightly bigger one, so, so 15 males. And then they have an SPF here, Physical Daily Defense, SPF 30, high protection, well, 20% zinc oxide. So, you know, try it, why not? So then they also have the, uh, this tree, which I'm really excited this one because whenever Sephora sale is around the corner the duo you know like the travel size duo like the mini size duo of this one and the like I think it's a hydrating serum is always out of stock and I couldn't find it I couldn't try it 
and I'm what the hell are you thinking about, you know, that kind of thing. So this time I decided to just jump right in and get this one because it's like a, you know, like a tall kind of thing. So um, I decided to try this one, very excited because this is actually the first few um, like vitamin C products that is marketed to be able to wear in the day. Because usually, you know, when people say that when you use vitamin C products, etc, etc, it's better to use at night and then the following day, just put on sunscreen. But this is marketed to be able to wear during the day and then you just put on sunscreen on top of it. So, I don't know, but I'm going to try it and see how it goes and how it works. And then next one, which I'm really excited, is this one, the um, Betty Sprimbo's Glycolic Night Serum. I've heard great things about this and usually they pair it with the um, oil, um, but I didn't get it because they don't have it here and I didn't want to get like, two mini sets. Um, because I think this one is something which I will appreciate because it has like a BHA product, like um, ingredient inside. This is like a AHA and BHA blend, so we shall see. And then um, this one is the one which I'm really, really excited because um, it came with a full size, with like, I think like a mini size of this one. But I'm not sure if I want to commit to a full size as of now because I have a lot of things waiting for me to try. So I decided to get this in this like, set. So this is the um, F Balm Electrolyte Water Facial. You know, electrolytes are really good for the skin. So. Decided to try this one. So that is that set. Honestly, I feel like this set, right? The whole packaging is very nice. The size is also pretty good. But I do not understand why they want to put this kind of things inside. Like this is so heavy and bulky. Am I right or not? And then another thing is, honestly, if you want to talk to me about your brand, which what they put it here, right? It's a good touch. But I feel like if I want to know more about it and I'm really really curious about it, right? I would definitely go up to your website to check it out. So I don't need like a physical hard copy. I think it's just not very. Um, environmental friendly because I mean if the person is not interested then oh, it's just waste you know and then I also bought two of these Pat McGrath lipsticks I've really enjoyed the previous one um the previous two that I bought like the one in black and the one in white so this time they come up with two version um this is the me lipstick trio in skin show version 2 and this is color bleeds version 2 so I'm really excited in the colors um I think this one Okay, the skin show, I really wanted to try Christy and Beautiful Stranger. I'm not so much into Flesh Tree because I had the color already and I think it's a little bit too dark and venti for Asian skin tones. Um, it's a very nice like evening color but it's just not everyday. But I'm really excited about Christy and Beautiful Stranger so I decided to get this one. And this one, I solely got this because of the color Flavor Dream. Yeah, the other two colors is just like, you know, but um, yeah, I'm really into Fever Dream and it's one of the colors that I love the most. Like I really really like it but I didn't want to buy the full size because honestly, I never finish a lipstick that often. So yeah, and then also they describe Genevieve or uh, Guinevere, sorry, Guinevere, um, as like a ox blood red or something like that. And I think a crimson red, which kind of like just, oh wow, it might, it appeals to me suddenly, so I decided to get this one. But this one, I solely got this because of Fever Dream. So um, I'm gonna do like a lipstick swatch for you guys, like if you guys are, I'm, I'm just gonna do it and then I'm just gonna post it sometime soon. And then the last one, I think last two items, is this one. This is a perfume from Jo Malone. Every year during spring, Jo Malone will release like the spring perfume and this time they came back with I think four different flavors. Um, Osmentus, which is what I got, Sip Blossom, and then they got like a Yuja and then Water Lily I believe. Um, and out of the four, I'm actually really really excited to get Yuja, Water Lily and Osmentus because um, I think I smelled Osmentus before, like back in the day, I quite like it but at that time they have then back in the days, back in that time, they have the Yashi or Nashi Blossom, which I love. So I got the full size of it, like the 100ml of it. And then you also have this Plum Blossom, which I think is so sweet and so nice. So I choose that two over Osmentus and Silk Blossom. So this time when it came out, I decided to get this. But I get a small version because I couldn't go to the store to smell it again. So I practically just buy this out of memory. So it's very light um, floral scent. I like it. It's more like um, subtle. It's not as girly, florally, you know, girly and family kind of thing. It's more like... Oops. It smells more subtle, I feel like. Mm, yeah, I like it more mellow. So, um, I, I can't really go to the store to try it, right? So, um, because I shop it from memory, I just get a small one. And then the other two, Yuja and Waterloo Lady, because I've never smelled them before. Um, I can't really know if I like it and I don't want to spend money because it's actually not cheap. It's about $100. 115 before discount. So it's not cheap, it's not expensive. And I have so many perfumes and I don't just, it doesn't justify me getting so many perfumes that I've smelled before, right? Um, so I'm going to wait for the second period to end and then I will see if there's a chance I'll go there and smell it and then maybe purchase it then. Okay, so yeah, this is this. Got that. And then last is this one. This is the Allies of Skin 1A Retinol and Peptide Overnight Mask. I've seen the makeup box um, here on YouTube and on Instagram. I follow her for a long, long time and I really think that she really put in a lot of effort to really try to educate her viewers and 
you know, people who follow her. So she said that this one, um, she took like a whole range about retinols and whatnot, and I decided to kind of try it because the girl here is approaching late 20s. Uh, like I'm in my late 20s, I'm going to my 30s. Um, so I wanted to kind of like anti age, you know, a little bit. So she said that this one, the Peter Thomas Roth, um, Serum has really like the I forget what is the exact term, but it's like the, the better not better like the more pure form of retinol, um, closer to the one that you get um, prescribed for or something like that. If you guys are interested, you guys can hop onto Instagram and see she has like, a whole story um, dedicated for that. So out of the two, um, my aunt used the Peter Thomas Roth one, which is like a blue bottle. She said that it wasn't that effective. So out of the two that she recommend, I got this one another one, and this is like an overnight mask. So um. I don't mind and also oh yeah the yeah the ingredient is retinal dehyde yeah so and this one they have like this time release thing so it releases throughout the night which I think that's good so and then you also have 13.5% peptide complex and then 9 antioxidants and 5 brightness so I think it's like a very good blend of ingredients so I decided to try it but this one is also not cheap this is not cheap oh my goodness not cheap yeah and then this marks my haul um of course there's also other things inside here but they are not uh, purchased by me um they are Mm, the, my sister bought them and then my mom bought them and I decided not to include here because technically I didn't really buy the products so I didn't want to share that with you guys but if you guys are curious they got Shiseido Cushion Refills the one that I have reviewed for you guys and then they also she also bought like Foreo Luna Tree um, for sensitive skin my mom got the combination skin and then she also got the NARS uh, matte lipstick and get it on um, and basically that is everything that they got so I basically got the most number of things Mm -hmm. So I hope you guys enjoyed, don't forget to subscribe, give this video a thumbs up, follow my Instagram if you want to, and don't forget to stay safe, and then I'll see you guys soon. Bye!